Are you guys ready for Steins Gate Zero? I certainly hope so, because that's what we're doing today. <laughs> welcome, welcome everyone to Let's Play Steins Gate Zero. I'm pretty excited, and I'm pretty excited that they said it would work on PlayStation Vita, and it works, unlike Zero Time Dilemma. I went ahead and installed this ahead of time, so it should be all ready to go. And I did very quickly just get to the main menu to make sure that it worked. I haven't gone anywhere beyond that. Which I'm really glad, because I was very worried if it didn't work on this, I was going to have to get a, a PS4, and I don't have money for that. Okay, and that leads into the title screen. So let's begin. I'm sure the game's going to explain itself a little bit, and if it's not, then we'll do a little bit more in depth in a coming episode soon. Needless to say, if you haven't seen the original Steins Gate, I would at least watch the anime, if not wa if not read or watch the visual novel. The hatch opened. Bright light flooded my eyes. Where was I? My eyes narrowed. Ooh, I'm really digging this. I'm really digging these, uh, like, uh, subtitle backgrounds and just visual style. This all looks really nice. I could barely make out the summer's twilight sky. I didn't want to leave. I just wanted to disappear. But... Someone grabbed my arm and dragged me out. I didn't have the energy to respond to my own nickname. I fell to the ground and wrapped my arms around myself. Mayuri ran to me and looked down, her face worried. But her kindness felt like nothing but a nuisance. Don't talk to me. Just leave me alone. ちょ、怒りんちまみれじゃん。どうしたん?どうした?タオルと水、あと服も。今すぐ手に入れてきて。え、え、どういうことか説明プリーズ。Daru ran to the door that led back inside the building. Stop it. Just get away from me. Leave me alone. I couldn't save her. In fact, I killed her myself. Right here, three weeks ago. I... killed her. I'm a murderer. Zembu. <laughs> 
同じだ参りの時と同じなんだどれだけもがいたって結果は同じになる No matter how many times I try, it will all converge back to the same result. The process doesn't matter. Whether you time travel or time leap, you can't go back and change the results of the past. I thought I understood that cruel truth, but now I was forced to realize it again, and in the worst possible way. <laughs> ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
さっきは往復2回分しか残ってないって言ったけど実はまだそれなりに余裕はあるそれでも移動できる時間はおよそ344日分片道のタイムトラベルだとしても今から1年と経たないうちに7月28日には届かなくなる覚えといてその日になったらさ私はたとえ一人でも飛ぶよ<笑> Someone was saying something to me But I couldn't understand the words I didn't want to listen to anything I just wanted to sleep Just let this all end Just let me go Okari? Okari? Ne? Okari? Mo. Gambara nakte mo i kara ne? Naite mo i n da yo? Okari? Mayushi wa. Soba ni iru kara ne? Okari? I don't know if Mayuri's words were the reason why, but the tears started to flow. I decided to forget everything. Ever since that day, I stopped going to the future gadget lab. Well, I do like trophies. And I'm really digging the. They've got a very much more cinematic feeling to this game. Well, okay, so I, I just. I thought about it part of the way through. It is actually a permutation of the true ending. Like, it's something you only get when you start working on the true ending, but you never really get a choice to do anything else, so. It's a permutation of the true ending, is what this visual novel takes place in. And I'm gonna link that video,、um, if I can find it on YouTube still. I'm pretty sure it is that I watched it.、Um, I'll link that in the description if you wanna see if you haven't seen it. Pretty sure most people have if you're pretty interested in Steins Gate, but you know, if you haven't,、uh, you might wanna check it. It's just a. You wanna mostly skip to the ending of the, of the episode, around like the five minutes or six minutes before the end. Because that's where the, it actually changes from the regular episode. Otherwise, you're just watching regular episode 23 of the anime. Anyway, UPX, the new symbol of Akihabara, was located right in front of the station. In the hall on the fourth floor, preparations have been going on all morning for the ATF Akihabara Techno Forum Convention. Universities and labs from both inside and outside the country. Would work together to put on special seminars and symposiums at irregular intervals. My school, Tokyo Denki University, was participating as part of its industry collaboration efforts. Students were required to attend these seminars and submit reports to their instructors. Otherwise, they wouldn't get credit for their related classes. In addition, I was supposed to help one of the lecturers, Associate Professor Izaki. I had just gotten a list from the reception desk at the shared lobby. I was waiting to check off the names of the students who were coming to the lectures. There was still some time before the seminar started, so the lobby was mostly empty. None of the students on the list were here yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I was bored, but I couldn't do anything but wait. The old me could never have imagined doing anything like this, but. Impressing Yuzaki was part of my new goal in life. Victor Chondria University. Yes, that was my new goal. Yuzaki did a lot of joint research projects with them and knew a lot of people there. The best first step to getting there my brain could come up with was being his assistant. Also, this convention was holding another seminar by Victor Chondria University. 
after the one held this summer. Of course, that interested me too. Summer. <laughs> oh, the past, it hurts. <laughs> An image of her she was then flashed through my mind. I was trying to get Victor Chondria to Victor Chondria so that I could learn about the work that Kurisu Makise had been doing. I wanted to try to do it myself. Of course, I wasn't a genius like Kurisu. Sorry, the backwards name thing's still throwing me off. I knew there was no way I'd ever be able to do exactly what she did. But if I could do even 10% of it. Honestly, I'm amazed that I've recovered so well. I thought to myself that to myself and chuckled, just as a voice called to me from across the lobby. Huh? Ah, you're the mysterious girl that you see in all the trailers and stuff. I looked up and saw a young girl approaching from the elevator hall. She was short and petite. Everything about her was small. I could kind of make out a few of the curves that don't appear until after puberty. So at least she wasn't in elementary school, but... Maybe... middle school? For someone with such a cute face, she clearly didn't care about her appearance. Her hair was in style and it poured down her back. Even I could tell her clothes weren't very fashionable. Oh man, we're gonna have to turn up that tech speed a bit. Um, what button is it? Not auto. Whoops. It's not circle, so, okay. So triangle, triangle is a cell phone. So they still got the cell phone menu. That's actually cool. I, th I always thought the cell phone menu was kind of a cool thing. Um, so it's start is what you get to all these with. So let's just max out message speed, I guess. And we'll try that for now. It's also where you get to all the regular menu options. So I guess we'll put in a save just for the heck of it. We got plenty of saves, good. I do like a lot of saves. And we've got a backlog. Also good. They did a really good job with the first game, I felt, and it looks like this one is probably gonna be the same way. Clearly not a place where a middle school girl belonged. She probably just come to the wrong place. Text is still really slow. Irritated, she pulled a card out of her jacket. It was one of the IDs given out to invited guests. Her name and the name of her workplace were written on the front. Huh? Victor Condria University, USA. Brain Science Institute. Victor Condria I'm kind of wondering if we should just look at these as we get to them. It kind of breaks up the flow a bit, but it would be more relevant to read them at the time. I don't know. I'm gonna leave him till the end for right now. I looked at the card, then at her. Then back at the card. Then I looked at her again. <laughs> I finally realized. Oh, <laughs> She sighed and showed me another card. This one was a photo ID from Victor Condria University. Eh? 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 It was the same ID I'd seen Kursu holding before on another world line. The photo on the card. Yeah, that was definitely her. <laughs> Maho. 
Okay, this this backwards name thing. He's gonna throw me off to no end. Victor Kondoria Daigakuno Chugakse Neboker and a Yorin Daigakuni Chugakse, a Yuaka Nagisho. Solimosoda Jo Tobikuko. Unlike in Japan, it wasn't uncommon for Americans to skip grades. Kurisu had made it to university at age 17. But still, a girl this young working in a university lab? おお。あなた今少なからず衝撃を受けてるわよね。こんな小さい子が信じられないかしら。それともこの年齢ですごいの方。She got me. The girl, M Maho Hiajo. Oh man, this backwards name thing. It, I wish, I hope there's an option, but I kind of feel like there isn't to make that not backwards. Pointed to the part of the ID with her slender fingers. She was born in 1989, and it was 2010, so... And then she puffed out her chest. There wasn't much to see, but I can imagine her saying, They look bigger when I'm not wearing clothes, they're huge! <laughs> I couldn't believe it. She was older than me. If Dari were here, he'd be dancing around screaming legal lolly for the win. so <laughs> Still, the Brain Science Institute? That's where Kurisu worked. Which means this kid... No, this person might know a lot about Kurisu. I held back the impulse to start badgering her with questions. See, I'm noticing, I'm noticing the text speed is actually very fast for his internal thoughts that aren't voiced. I'm wondering if that only controls that speed in the spoken text I can't make go any faster, because that's a little annoying. I looked at the pamphlet with the seminar schedules. Victor Condria's lecture was the last one for the day, and was clearly intended to be the biggest. Was this Maho Hiajo girl going to give a lecture? Just like Kurisu had done at the summer convention. No, wait, that's wrong. That never happened. Makise Kurisu never gave any lectures over the summer. That happened in the Alpha World Line. In the World Line I inhabited now, before the summer convention, she'd already... I looked at the pamphlet again, and saw that the lecturer was a man named Alexis Leskinen. Leskinen? Alexis. A professor at Victor Condria University, and the chief professor of the Brain Science Institute. The topic is the development of the brain. It's interesting. If you have I led Maho over to the uh, to the elevator hall and showed her where the staff room was. Arigato. I had no reason to hang around her any further. 
I said goodbye and was just about to turn around. Just then, the elevator opened. A woman emerged. The instant I saw her face, every hair on my body stood on end. <laughs> where, um, where, where's your clothes? <laughs> Kiryu Mo yeah, this whole backwards name is throwing me off. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. C calm down. This is the Beta World line. Mayuri is alive. Moik is not going to kill her. Our eyes met. The eyes on the other side of her glasses were as dead as ever, and it was impossible to tell what she was thinking. I frantically averted my gaze before she realized something was wrong. She tilted her head for a second, but quickly lost interest in me and turned towards Maho. Even in this world line, Moika still only spoke in faint whispers. The two of them disappeared into the staff room. As I watched them leave, I took a deep breath. I tried to calm down, but it wasn't working. Kiryu Moeka. Moskaste. Mata. Omae naro ka. It was a terrible feeling, like a cold finger tracing the wounds in my heart. That night, when the terrorist threat shut down all of the trains in Akihabara, that awful night, when I just knew something was going to happen. Or was I just imagining things? Was she just a magazine reporter now instead of a CERN rounder? No. Even if Moiko was a rounder, we had nothing to do with CERN anymore. CERN wouldn't be watching us. I took another deep breath, grabbed some of the anxiety meds in my pocket, and swallowed them down with some mineral water I'd brought ahead of time. It would take 15 minutes for them to kick in. Those 15 minutes were always pretty rough. I laughed at myself a little and sat down on one of the reception desk chairs. The table was filled with leaflets, pamphlets, and other things for the attendees. What's that? Is that a... Did I get a text message? Can we make this in English? I don't know. Okay, I guess enough of it's in English. I think that's the one I had. I think I had Village. That one's just, like, really aggressive. I kind of like it, but it's also a little bit too aggressive, I feel, for a ringtone. Yeah, we'll just go with that one. I'm pretty sure that's the one I had in the, that I did in the first game, anyway. Oh, man, we can have the best wallpapers. Oh, God, these things again. Let's just stick with not disgustingly ugly, Ryan. Do -do -do, Ocarina, are things going okay with the seminar? I'm not sure. Alright, so yeah, if we see that little message in the top right up here, that means we got a message on our phone. You'll be fine. Mayushi guarantees it. Just having trouble paying attention. There's a seminar I want to attend, so I'm not getting anywhere with my work. 
I see. You're nervous, huh? Just tell yourself that if you can work, if you work hard, you can see Mr. Seminar as a reward. And then you'll focus on the work right in front of you. Thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did I animate myself? Okay. So you can also call people from here. I imagine if you're not in a story-specific area, it doesn't help. Let's call Daru and tell him about the lolly. Uh, won't even let you call people if it's not part of the story, probably. No. Nah. Alright, cool. I'm glad the phone thing's back, though. I thought that was a really unique thing about the Steins Gate visual novel. The table was filled with leaflets, pamphlets, and other things for the attendees. My eyes wandered to one of the pamphlets. Nakabachi Theory in the Genealogy of Pseudoscience. This pamphlet was for Professor Izaki Seminar. Nakabachi Theory. The paper he'd announced in Russia. The paper held the key to creating a real time machine. Hmm. On that day, July 28th, Nakabachi had stolen the paper from Kurisu, his own daughter, and left with it. I knew that. Only Nakabachi and I knew that. I flipped through the pamphlet. It was a brief introduction to the many forms of pseudoscience and fake scientific discoveries that had emerged since the start of the 20th century. On its own, it did make for interesting reading. And at the end of the pamphlet, Nakabachi theory was introduced as nothing more than another entry in that long list of fakes. So Dr. Nakabachi's time machine theory had been completely ignored by the academic world. So unlike the world line where the world is in ruin, this is one where no one actually takes his theory seriously. All the glory, fame, and power he wanted so badly that he was willing to get rid of his own daughter? He didn't get any of it. And I'd heard rumors that after the announcement he'd been imprisoned in a Russian lab. To make it even funnier, he thought he was getting VIP treatment. For a short time, there were essays and interviews in bogus academic journals. Even there, it was all obvious it had gone to his head. The ironic thing was that Nakabachi theory was completely correct and completely revolutionary. The Russian government was worried about it leaking, and the SVR was doing everything it could to keep it under wraps. But under the surface, there was a full-scale information war beginning over the paper. The time traveler from 2036, John Titer, had told me so, which meant it had to be true. Was World War III really going to happen? There was no point in thinking about it. Oh, so maybe, so maybe it is still that same timeline. The timelines, to be perfectly honest, screw with me so much and I barely understood them. It took me a long time to really understand them for the original Steins Gate, and I've since mostly forgotten about it. <laughs> Just a little more before the drugs kicked in. I closed my eyes. 